Hello everyone, no respawns here. Hope you're having a grand week and all that jazz. So I have, in my wanderings, found a pretty cool area, namely this one. Uh, so those you don't know, because uh, you haven't been paying attention or you just haven't watched a video in a while, um, I spend an inordinate amount of time wandering around Appalachia trying to find pre-existing areas I can build upon. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's like the cooler builds now. Um, I still, and I still do like structural builds like the greenhouses recently, but a lot of the time I try and find pre-existing areas and kind of make them look cool. Uh, so this one, I've already done some building here. Uh, the reason being is because it was just junk walls, and I figured, as you've seen me do the junk walls a million times, rather than build them in front of you, I would just kind of give you a tour of what I've done, then we can let you the actual building is on top. Uh, but let's show you where I am first. So I am uh, just, so there's Kitty Corner Cabin, so I'm in the, um, uh, the Toxic Valley. And there is the Pioneer Scout lookout. So it's really a lookout. Yeah, lookout. Uh, so I'm a really, really, this person's got their camp there as well. Um, it's a really, really easy location to find. Uh, this is really great because those you don't know, you normally can't build on pre-existing areas. Anything that's like got a map icon, you can't build too close. However, this one, because it doesn't have a map icon, you can. And if you don't want to build in this specific area, you can also build down here as well. Uh, I've already tested, so you can definitely place your... Uh, your thingy down there and it's just a really really nice area uh, you've got loads of options here and the one reason why I really like this is because obviously it's a you know actual existing building and plus it's all empty on the inside I mean you can't scrap things so for example you know the toilets are a bit of a ball lake but I'm mostly gonna turn this into a kind of a workshop area and then the up top is possibly where I'm gonna be actually having my home so let's give you a quick tour of like what I've made so this is a note there are enemies that do spawn here um, that was a giant fly just flew out of that. Um, but they're usually like level 10, level 15. So they're just more of a mild annoyance. And to us, it's kind of a useful way to get food. So in terms of the junk walls, I want this to kind of feel like, um, like how you would normally see in a location. So kind of like just any sort of building that's just been reinforced and barricaded. And this was the plan. Uh, so one thing with this is because of the the way this location is, it's really difficult to put fences and stuff down. So instead of having an actual gate, instead it's like a kind of... um that there's going to be a turret there. It's going to be like, this is the only entrance in. Uh, so I also picked up the tire wall pack. Um, usually I don't recommend saying that you should definitely pick one up, but seriously, pick this one up. It's, I think, the, the one for the actual walls is 500 atoms, and then the smaller ones, which are like these just single tires, are about 300. Uh, to be honest, you're going to get in so much use of it. I think it'll be one of those ones that'll be on for ages, so there's no rush. It's not part of a pack or anything, uh, but it's... I use this a lot in this build, so, um, a lot you can stack the tires on top of each other. So I decided to, uh, kind of barricade up one entrance, uh, that way it just kind of forces you through one, and plus I just wanted to see if I could make a weird barricade thing. I could. And, let's see, I've got made these here. I put the punji boards on the top, which have actually come into use with the Amol Rats, because they leap up and then they get hurt. Um, I've got this little weird area here. Um, I've got the stash boxes. Uh, I think on the weekend with this guy, I'm going to have to do a big session trying to find stash boxes. Because he's got most of the recipes now for all the other stuff. But, the, like, the stash boxes, I've only got, like, three of them. Because uh, they're an absolute nightmare to farm. So I'm going to have to do, like, a caps grinding and then just going to other people's camps and seeing what they have on sale. But, yeah, I'm quite pleased with my barricades. But the big thing for this video is, is obviously, we're building on top of here. So let's just... Uh, get on with it. I love the Toxic Valley. There's wood everywhere. Plus, when it starts getting dark, you won't even notice because of all the glow. So I can just build without having to worry about it being late, which is really helpful for a video. Uh, so the one thing I've done is so I put these foundations here um, and I've lined them up pretty much exactly to this fence here, as you can see. Like, it's pretty much sheer to it. And then the way I lined them up so they're the right angle is I just used these stairs here and I basically popped that one down and then I did that and then I just kept checking to see if they were aligned then if they weren't aligned I'd take the stairs off. Uh, the reason why I had to show you this part now is because of the fact that I need to actually leave these foundations here to make sure the walls were lined up. Um, but let's uh, let's put the cool stairs in. And the reason why I did the junk walls, as I said, is because one, you've seen me do it loads of times, and also because I did this video yesterday, and it just added like 15, 20 minutes onto the video. <laughs> it added too much time. Uh, so I want to put the uh, these fences on first, uh, mainly because the stairs tend to have a little bit of a a freaky time actually snapping in 
Might would they you can snap the stairs in, but then you can't snap those on is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> of course you will have a little bit of a, a moment getting this in. There we go. Grand. Uh, so this took me ages to get it lined up, but it does look really cool. So I've got like a whole plan of this. I've got a whole thing planned, just you wait. Um Oh yeah, I forgot you can use these ones. Um I'm not gonna use these ones. But I keep forgetting that you can actually use these top floor parts for uh, these ones, anyway. Uh, yeah. uh, so those of you who noticed, uh, if you're watching this video on release, I haven't actually done a video in about 10 days, I think it is. Uh, I wasn't neglecting you or anything intentionally, uh, but on the weekend before the re recent one, I was in France for like our big work outing thing. Um, I'm doing this wrong. And then this most recent weekend, because a lot of you know I do my tabletop gaming, uh, Warcry, which is a new skirmish game dropped, and I just had to finish off a load of painting projects. So I kind of like assigned myself some uh, Davy time. Uh, but don't worry, I'm not. I'm gonna do two uh, Fallout videos this week because I've already got the next build fully planned. Um, it's gonna be a uh, my other main character's moving base, so I'm building his base and showing you guys me building it. Um, but yes, uh, so if you want to actually see my tabletop stuff, by the way, link in the doobly-doo, uh, because it's pretty cool. I spend a lot of time painting models and playing war games, to the point where I've mentioned this a few times, and I started kind of the process of getting the equipment together. I might start doing, within the foreseeable nearish future, um, kind of tabletop videos. Um, I've always been trying to find, like, an alternative Fallout stuff, like something that... Oh, I haven't taken these off yet. Spoiler, you're not meant to see these. They did off. Um, an alternative to the, uh, the uh, like, just something else I could do alongside Fallout and Let's Plays and all that jazz. It's something a bit different. And I do spend a lot of time painting, and I thought it might actually be helpful for me to record myself doing it sometimes. Uh, potentially live stream it, but let's start with non-live stream. Uh, because I'm, I'm reasonably quite good. Link in the description, my Instagram, if you want to check out my painting. Um, but also, it just, like, making a video out of it kind of sort of will encourage me to do it a bit more often. Uh, which will be good, because I've got loads of projects I need to finish. <laughs> so, yeah, um, look out for that. Um, I can't give an extremely tight ETA, but let's say two months, maybe? Um, I need to buy a new desk and find a location in my rather tiny room. But it should look quite cool. Anyway, back to the building. Oh, I haven't stopped building, but you know what I mean. Uh, so... Potentially, we're gonna put some supports on here. So initially I was actually gonna have a staircase on this part, like literally mirror that side. Uh, the problem is, is there's some rudely a giant tree here, which I can't put in, so. Um, I've shown this technique in my last video. Zzz, Cause I say it all the time. Uh, the reason why I put these floors on that kind of, in the middle basically of these floors, is cause it forces the pillars to snap on the edge of those ones, you see? Uh, it's a really good technique for getting them, uh, Kind of in the right place where where they should be rather than here, which looks stupid Um, obviously most of you have seen this technique, but obviously I gotta assume that you know There'll be a lot of people usually it's about half the viewers for each video are new so chances are you haven't seen that technique before super useful dun, 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 dun. There we go. I'm also really pleased because um last time this video looked took like 25 minutes And I was like I have to do that again because I spent 25 minutes dicking around. <laughs> I'm still dicking around, but I'm dicking around with purpose. Yeah, so let's have a look at it already. See, it's, it's just quite cool, like this reinforced kind of like little, for well, not a fortress -y, but you know what I mean? It feels quite raidery, which is quite nice. Um, okay, so next we're going to do this part here. So um, you've got this center area here, and um, we're going to put some stuffs. Uh, so we're going to make like a little platform. I've done this like three times already, so I know what I knows what I'm doing. I mean, not in life, but at least in this specific bit. In you go. In you go. Right now, so um, we can't put floors on this, which is annoying. However, what we can do is put roofs on it. However, we can't put the roofs in the center. Oh no, what we can do is put the roofs here like that, and then they snap on. Voila. And then it snaps onto the center as you can see. Uh, but before we actually get onto the center, I need to actually make a staircase so I can actually see what I'm doing. However, we don't have any decent stairs to snap onto this part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use boxes because boxes are basically stairs. Um, I have gotten very 
Oh, you can see I've got like wooden crates 18 start up. <laughs> I've got a lot of use out of these. That's why I need to kind of do another kind of stash box hunting session because otherwise I'm just going to be using these ones to the end of time. Uh, I do sort of miss in uh, those of you who were part of the Fallout 4 days. I remember those uh, kind of brown crates that were in a lot of the mod packs. And I used to use them for what I'm doing now quite often. And uh, yeah, I, I miss them quite a bit, to be utterly honest. They were awesome. However, if uh, the room, well, not rumors, they, they mentioned it on the Quaker, uh, QuakeCon. But basically, apparently, there are private servers in the foreseeable future. Um, probably less foreseeable than my tabletop videos, put it that way. However, hopefully within, you know, I don't know, a year, um, I can wait that long. Well, maybe not that long, but I mean, I probably will have to wait that long. Uh, but yeah, basically, when they come, hopefully we should have mods again, which would be very, very nice. Uh, I'm actually not even particularly bothered if it's limited assets like the like the PS4 was, because I just want to use in-game assets and make you settlements again. If we do get private servers, by the way, and modding does come back, I will absolutely be making camp locations again, uh, as per. I miss making mods, but I just don't have any motivation to play to do them on Fallout 4 anymore. But I will on Fallout 76. Because um, I do miss making mods. So this is a little bit of a excitable section here, as you can see. It's like, no, Davey, I want to snap everywhere but the location you're trying to go. I'm like, well, that's very nice. Let's not do that. Oh, it's a little bit easier that time. So now we have done this area here and we've done these parts here. Right, so um, let's do the barricades. So I said, I've got this whole thing, whole thing planned out, yeah? I mean, vaguely, I've got the part I'm going to show you planned out. Then I have to do the decoration afterwards. But this part, I've, I've, I've got all planned. Cunning plans have I got. Uh, so one thing I'm not going to be doing, initially when I did this yesterday, I kind of like walled it all off with fences. It just looked a little bit bollocks, basically. It didn't look very good because uh, it was kind of too much of the same texture. So what I'm going to do is kind of like have um, symmetrical barricades, but they're going to look a little bit more ramshackle and also there'll be gaps in between it just to kind of make it look a little bit more interesting. You'll see. Just you wait. Um, ba -ba. And I'm going to show you the tire walls in a sec so you can see how they work. If you've been pondering picking up the pack, you'll see how big they are and all that jazz. But let me do this bit first, yeah? Dun, 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 dun. I do like the... Uh, so th this this, and the ash heap, the toxic valley and the ash heap, I feel are the, the two underappreciated areas in the game and they need love. They're cool. This area is especially good because you've got like loads of wood everywhere. Uh, it's all glowy and nice, and the enemies aren't really very tough. And there aren't too many players around here as well, which is nice. Um, and there's loads of stag things everywhere as well, which is pretty cool. Um, right, okay, so let's do these part first. Here. Cool. Cool. Swaggy, swaggy. Yeah, I said swag. What of it? Um. <laughs> right, you get on there. Don't hate ya. Oh, falling down. I, d I don't really like that Primal Cuts event, to be honest. I just found it a bit boring. Um, I think mainly because I... Uh, no, I was doing my tabletop, so I hadn't actually managed to play much of it. I don't know. It wasn't as good as the Fashion Act one. Seems a bit of a grind. Um, yeah, I'm going to... I'll just up, right? Get in there, you dick. I uh, will use the stash boxes instead. My millions of stash boxes. Yeah, we'll do that instead. Actually, we'll use the... um. I'll use the tyres even better. So you can just kind of... Uh, pop these on top of each other. There we go. And that side there. I'm going for kind of symmetry in the sections I go because it just looks nice. Mm -mm. Oh, it's getting hot in my room now. Um, I was checking the weather in London, and we've got one more month of warmishness, then September it gets cold again, uh, which I'm really excited for. Apparently, hopefully in September, it won't go any hotter than about 19 degrees, um, which is just, it's amazing, really. Loves a bit of that. 
the heat sucks. Especially when you have to have your fan off when you're recording a video. <laughs> like now. Um, oh, I'm out of concrete, so no more of them then. Well, they're gone, unless I have some something stored up that has concrete in it. Nah, it's fine. Um, Alright, anyway. I've got loads of these stored up, so it's all good. Right, I've got nine of them, to be exact. So, this will be... Um, let's do it that side, actually. There we go, right. So the point of the uh, concrete barriers on the outside is so that way when you're looking at it from the side, it looks different. That's that's the point, yeah? In case you were curious. So it kind of like isn't just the same texture repeating from the outside. That is the, uh, the method to me madness. Bum, 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 bum. Right. See, 16 minutes already. Imagine if, yeah, I'd also built the outside all barricades. It's a bit of a fucking 30 minute video. Right, okay. Um, and I'm probably going to have not that one, that one in the center there. A bit further. That is not even like vaguely centered, but it doesn't need to be centered because otherwise it'll look weird. Um, and then here. And look at that. Perfect. Sort of. Yeah, right, and let's just pop the last thing on. Oh, the last thing I'm going to show you in this video, then I'll go off and do the decoration. Up oh, my wee staircase. Um, I picked up this from the Atom Store as well, um, just because I went on a bit of a spending spree. So you don't have to. Um, right, so let us see how this looks so far. Obviously, I'm going to do the decoration as well. Damn, we go. Yeah, that's not centered, but it doesn't matter because I'll sort it out in a second. But yeah. Um, so yeah, already like it's looking like reinforced and barricade isn't it? it? It's quite kind of ramshackle. It looks like a kind of, I mean, obviously not as pre-existing as a pre-existing area might, but I haven't finished it yet. So I'll try and make it look as as realistic as possible. But overall, I'm, I'm kind of pleased with the overall look. So right, I'm going to dive off, uh, give this the Davy spruce up, um, and then I will give you a wee tour. One moment. And we are done. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I always say that, but it's always nice when it does actually come together. Uh, so I've just kind of add a lot more detail on this, add a few bits and pieces, made it a bit more... Oh, there's a lot more character to it. So let's just give you a, a wee tour around the outside. So yeah, the, the whole vibe with what I was trying to go for here was just basically just, yeah, like a reinforced structure. So rather than just kind of building a house out, right, which like realistically you probably wouldn't do. The first thing you'd do, you know, in, in this situation is um, find a, a kind of pre-existing structure to fortify. And why not some bogs? Yeah, why not some bogs? Um, I did get attacked by mole rats as well. Um, you do get attacked reasonably, not reasonably often, but I do get attacked while I'm here. However, to be honest, they're only like level 10s and it's a good supply of meat, so... Um, and the turrets do most of it as well. Um, if I were to stay here for a while, which I won't because I'm gonna have to build another settlement, <laughs> uh, at some point next week, probably on this guy. Um, I would probably put more turrets around here. But you can put more turrets, basically. Just around the edges. Um, I keep trying to give a, a smooth tour and I'm rudely interrupted by trees. Uh, so let's uh, go on the top floor first. So it's got a nice atmosphere to it. It's all very, it's all very cheap and cheerful. Um, just bits and pieces. It's very scrappy. It's it's very Fallout. This I feel. Um, got me a wee uh, power armor workbench over there. It's very, very nice. It's a very noisy area, this, I will say that. Um, I think just the centralised location, you keep hearing stuff from over there. People having battles, but it doesn't matter. Um, annoyingly, you see that trailer over there? I was like, ooh, I wonder if I can build in that. Annoyingly, you can't. Um, I'm still trying to track down a trailer I can build in. That, a trailer that I can build in that doesn't look like shit. Um, so I've got a generator up here and a workbench. Let's just uh, skew up there and take a crafty look-see. Bump. Bump. 
So I just wanted to kind of make use of this area, just kind of so that way this top part, you know, doesn't feel so flat. And also it's just it's just a really good place to put the generator. To be honest, you could probably even like, you know, block it off completely. Um, or I hit record and that way a police siren goes by. I don't know if you heard that, but every single fucking time. <laughs> Uh, let's go inside. So inside I'm quite pleased with. I wasn't too sure how in the inside would work. Um, I've got some bits down here as well. And a load of moles out so you can see. Um, but initially I wasn't too sure how the inside was work. But I'm quite pleased. I made uh, made good use of the sinks as you can see. Places for my wee boys to sleep. Um, I tried to fit stuff in the urinals but uh, it wouldn't work. So sad face. However, um, I made some decent work of the inside. I was going to put the bed on the top initially, but I was able to squeeze it in here and it looks quite nice. I've got the wee alien. I love that alien plushie. You can have him sitting everywhere. I've actually got him sitting on the bugs over here as well. Lovely. Um, and this actually came with it, so there we go. And uh, not the dartboard, but the gnome. So yeah, I'm, um, I'm pretty pleased with this, actually. Uh, it's quite cool. And so you've got these first aid kits as well, which respawn every, like, 24 hours. So uh, you've got a, a nice supply of chems to come in and out. It looks quite cool, exactly what I was trying to go for, reinforced, scrappy settlement uh, that just kind of fits the, uh, I think, the spirit of Fallout. Um, but yeah, anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter, at no response. I'm going to have another Fallout video on the weekend. I'm moving back to my original camp location on my, like, my, my first one on my main dude. And I'll be building, like, a, a kind of an updated base there. That'll be over on the weekend. As mentioned, um, if you're curious about my kind of Warhammer tabletop, and, well, tabletop stuff, because I'm also starting to play Infinity as well. Um, if you're curious about what I'm doing, follow me on Instagram. And in the foreseeable-ish future... Uh, there is a vague plan to maybe start doing some, some sort of tabletop videos. If it's just painting stuff or just kind of, you know, unboxings and things like that. Because I just spend so much money on that shit anyway, so I might as well show it off. Um, I know it's probably a niche thing and not many of you will uh, be interested in it. However, uh, potentially it'll be of interest to a few of you at least. But until the next video, you lot enjoy the rest of your week and you take care.